Hey guys, today I will show you how to extract transcriptions from YouTube videos for free using N8N. Let's begin. First, as you can see here, we have our workflow, which starts with the on form submission trigger. Of course, to include this, you will have to right click, click on add node, look for form, N8N form under triggers, include this on new N8N form event. Once you open it here, you will have to configure it, of course, like give it a title, give it a description if you want. We will be needing only one form element here, so click on add form element. Give you your field a name i gave it video url for the element type keep it to text you can add a placeholder if you want turn this to required and then for the respond when set it to form is submitted for this we will have to install a couple of things we will need menio which will be the storage for this video the nca toolkit i have made a video previously on how to set up menio and nca toolkit in n8n i will leave you guys the link in the description so feel free to watch it we will also need to install a python dependency which is a yt dlp so for that open up terminal enter pip install yt dash dlp hit enter and install it you will need to have python installed on your local machine for that so yeah install it and it and must be self-hosted on your local machine as well so yeah i made also a video on that i will leave it in the description for you guys to watch the last thing you will have to install which is ffmpeg all you have to do is just visit the link that i will be putting in the description you will be redirected to this page just scroll down a bit Click on this FFmpeg git essentials, download it, extract it. If you don't want to use the same command as I did here, you will have to add the path to the bin folder inside FFmpeg that you just extracted and then add it to your system variables under the path. Now we will carry on with our workflow. So we will go back to the second node, which is a code node. So again, right click, click on add node, look for code, include it. Keep the mode to run once for all items, the language JavaScript, and then you can pause the video and take this code here, which is a simple code would be basically given a pattern. So we are using YouTube URLs. We only need the last part of the URL. For example, we have this URL right here. We will only need this part under the equals. So this is the function that we are using. We are trying to match the pattern to the URL we input it. And then we are extracting only the last part, which is the ID of the video. If we go back here a bit for the YouTube URL variable here, we'll be using the video URL field from the form submission. So either drag it and drop it here or just copy this input.item.json and then input the name of the field just like it is we are now going to apply the function we have created to extract the youtube id from the url and then we are going to return it all right now we are done for that right click again click on add node look for execute commands and then add this node again as i mentioned you must be working with n8 and self-hosted on your machine to be able to see this type of node so where we go in here all right, you will have to copy this command here. We're calling the YouTube-DLP library that we just installed. We are giving it the FFmpeg location. I didn't add FFmpeg to the path, so I'm just giving it the location of the BIM file that I just extracted. Dash O, and then between two codes, we have to input the ID we just extracted using the code node. And then we will give it the full URL again. So we're taking this to create like a unique file name and then we pass it again the youtube url that we got so in this format to avoid the user input in a url embedded or whatever so we'll put this prefix here and then we will add the video id later on so drag it and drop it from the code node and put it here same for this one and then the rest just to make sure we get the best quality for the audio and the, for the video once we downloaded the youtube video on our local machine we will have to import it into n8n this will be achieved thanks to the read files from this node so right click click on add node look for read files and then click on this here you will have to configure it so for the operation it will be read files from this for the file selector add.mp4 and then drag and drop the video id we extracted from the code node here so it will be the video id.mp4 all right this one will give us a binary field as you can see here that we can download of course and view we will be taking that binary and uploading it into our storage which is menu just will be able to give it a url because nca toolkit works only with urls that are hosted on your local machine so for this right click click on add node again look for s3 include it you will have to create the credential for your menu account so click on create new credential it will give you something like this for the s3 endpoint it will be like this of course if you are working with n8n not on docker but normally using the mpx command if you followed my video it will have to be localhost 2.9000 for the region it will be us east one it doesn't really matter for the access key id and the secret key id all you have to do is go to 
the menu browser. You can follow the previous video, of course, I went through all of this in details. Input your credentials, go to access keys, click on create access key, and then hit create, and it will give you the access key and secret key. Just copy the access key, put it here, the secret key, put it here. Of course, we'll have to turn on the force path style and the ignore SSL issues. Now we will have to perform another step inside menu, which is go into buckets and create a new bucket. Give it a name and remember the name. Once you created it, you will have to go inside it and then change the access policy to public it will be private just change it to public and then going back to our nodes for the resource it will be file operation upload the bucket name it will be the name that you have just created the file name again will drag and drop the id from the code node and then add a .mp4 at the end activate the binary file and then data as the name of the binary field which will be the same name as here data it will have to be data there as well all right now we will be contacting our http request to transcribe the video so right click click on add node look for http request for the method it will be post for the url it will be localhost 2.8080 slash v1 slash media slash transcribe for the authentication just follow the previous video i went through this in details and then activate the send body for the body content type json specify body using json and then you will have to copy this body request here so we'll be needing media url and include srt if you want your timestamps of course you will have to change this to true for the media url just start with this prefix here host.docker.internal because both nca toolkit and menu are on, on docker so 2.9000 for the menu uh, url slash the name of the bucket you have created nca toolkit for my case and then slash video id which will be taken again from the code node and added dot mp4 of course between two codes leave it like like that and then if we want to take it a step further we'll be using Airtable to save the video URL with its transcription so if I go here I created a base called transcripts and a table called transcripts inside Airtable I created a field video URL and transcript don't mind these if you don't want to add them of course you don't have to so we'll be focusing on the video URL and transcript click on the plus button look for single text add the single line text and give your field the name video URL and transcript we are ready now so yeah go back to N8N right click click on add node look for Airtable add it for the air table credentials you will have to create new credentials so we'll be using the access token go back to air table of course go to builder hub personal access tokens and create a new personal uh, access token and then paste it in here for the resource it will be record operation create the base select the base you have created transcripts for my case as well as the table transcripts mapping column node it will be map each column manually for the video url you have to drag and drop the url submitted in the form here so drag it and drop it here for the transcripts script will be taking the output of the http request we created using nca toolkit so go here under transcribe video look for response and then text and drag it and drop it here and just like that we have finished building our workflow it's time to test it now all right i copied the url let's go test workflow let me input the video url click submit wait for it to execute it's downloading the video now loaded the video uploaded it to menu and then it's transcribing it right now using NCA toolkit. It should be done in a second. And now it's pushing the record to Airtable. All right, it's done. As you can see here, it gave us the transcription. And then if we go back to Airtable, we'll see the video URL with its transcript. This is the full transcript of the video we have just created. So yeah, guys, the sky is the limit here. You can take it a step further, uh, repurpose the transcript or wherever you can create a batch, add uh, schedules here. And yeah, I gave you the basics and you can customize it even more and add more details. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.